So you want to go from this to this without annoying shortcuts in between. I can fix that. Welcome back, tech heads. So here's a little secret that could get me into a lot of trouble. So I am going to pull a prank on my mom while I show you how to customize your iPhones at the same time. So while she's out working in the backyard and, you know, occupied and not aware of what I'm doing, I am going to use her iPad, which is the exact same process as an iPhone. And I'm going to make it look ridiculous. She might disown me. She might yell at me. She might even kick me out of the house. Oh man, where am I going to live? But that is a risk I am willing to take for all of you. All right, so we don't have much time until she comes back inside and notices her iPad's missing. So let's get started and uh, stay to the end. Grab your Apple device and go into your settings. Tap on accessibility and then tap on reduce motion. Okay, so just a quick side note before we move forward. So the reason we're putting the reduce motion on is because while this process works, it's not perfect. You know, Apple's dumb and likes to make things more difficult for us. So by turning on reduce motion, Ocean, this actually cleans up some of the transitions that we can't really fix or get around. Next, go to Google and type in Icon Themer and tap on the Routine Hub link, which I'll also link in the description below. From here, tap on Get Shortcut, tap on Set Up Shortcut, tap Next, and tap Add Shortcut. Don't worry, this is the only thing you need to download for the Shortcuts app. That's it. It's a shortcut to shortcut the Shortcuts app that skips over the shortcut glitch when opening the app. Shortcuts. Once downloaded, go to the Shortcuts app, and now you should see the Icon Themer shortcut we just downloaded. Okay, so now it's time to find all of the images we want to use for our custom apps. There are various themes you can find online or even buy on Etsy, or just go and download images from Google. But in my case, it's time to take many, many selfies. I just hope my mom still loves me after this. <laughs> Once you've found the photos you need, or taken, open Shortcuts and go to the new shortcut we just downloaded. Tap on the three dots right here, then tap play. Now it's time to choose the first app you want to customize. Look, don't let yourself get confused here because it's a lot easier than it looks and I'll explain what's going on. If you're wanting to customize any of the stock apps on your iPhone, like iMessage, the health app, settings, calendar, calculator, any of those, then go and tap on system apps. Otherwise, tap on search app store for every other app. So like I said before, this isn't perfect. And when it comes to system apps like FaceTime or settings or your phone apps, messages, there's a weird glitch that Apple makes us go through their shortcuts app almost no matter what we do. But anything from the app store that you download like Facebook or a game, Netflix, when you tap on the icon, it'll automatically go right to the app and bypass the whole shortcuts app. Okay. Just want to let you guys know that before we go forward. You know, I, w I was just thinking and I, I should probably go ahead and, and back up my mom's iPad first because you know the last thing that I want is for her to come inside and be like oh Blake how dare you and so yeah I better have a quick fix for this or um I could be living on the streets <laughs> type in the name of the app you want to change then tap on the app to confirm once the shortcut finds it next it's time to choose which photo you want to use for your icon okay so I'm thinking uh yeah, let's go with this, uh, this bad boy here first. <laughs> I love you, mom. I really do. Okay, don't hate me. Okay, choose your photo, and then you also have the option to change the name of the icon as well. So I'm thinking probably like alternate versions of, of my name. So Facebook is now going to be Blakebook. Tap done. And now we'll have the option to do another app as well. You can actually go and do multiple apps through this script at once. If you're done customizing, tap on create my apps, and then name your profile setup. So you could just name the profile like Instagram if you're going to do the one app just at the one time. Or name the entire setup like like Bob or something or Blake is beautiful or I love time for tech or something like that if you decide to do like multiple apps at once during this process. So I'm probably going to name mine like, you know, I love my mom. Next, tap on install profile. Tap allow and then tap close. Then from your settings, you should see profile downloaded. Tap on it and tap on the profile we just downloaded. Tap install and type in your passcode to confirm. Tap install again and then tap done. Go to your home screen and there is your new app waiting for you with no shortcut glitch. Okay, so there is like one more thing that you're probably going to really want to do before we're done all of this. But first, time for the big reveal and then um, we'll go and surprise my mom. All right, so here we go. Yeah, that's me everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go and uh, show my mom, huh? <laughs> okay. Got something for you. 
Huh? I got something for oh, you. What's wrong? Do you like it? See, now you can go tap on Facebook right there. It's called Blake Book. Why are you doing this to my Facebook page? Because I love my you, Facebook. Mom. Do you love Ow. <laughs> okay, so that went uh, better than expected. So anyways, so the last thing that I mentioned that you're probably really going to want to do is increase the battery health on your iPhone or your iPad so it lasts a long time, which I actually talk about in this tech-tastic video right here.